Haskell, renowned financial fraud, was all over the news in the start of 2022. Fraud happened. FIA got involved. Around 30 suspects got registered for the case, including some big names. And the founder of Haskell, Mumtaz Hassan Khan, got arrested. How this biggest financial fraud happened will be discussed further in this video. Haskell is an oil marketing company which got its marketing license in 2005 and was listed in all three stock exchanges of Pakistan since 2014. It had established its image with its rapid growth after 2009 but that fast growth also created some doubts. Haskell, like any other oil marketing company, used to import oil in large quantities on credit. In 2019, Haskell's financial statements showed a great amount of loss, which was concerning for, for all, as how could such amount of loss incur in such a short period? However, still the company was maintaining its reputation through explanations until the COVID-19 crisis came. During the year 2019 and 2020, Pakistan's currency also got devalued, which led to loss due to exchange rate, and Haskell was suffering through this exchange rate loss quite a lot, as it had a contract with a multinational company Vatop. However, coronavirus came and international oil prices got badly affected and went negative. And oil storage became a more expensive commodity than oil itself. Pakistan also was affected by these crises. Haskell, which gained massive success in a short period of time and was second oil company after PSO, suffered a lot. It was now getting difficult for the company to even carry on its operating expenses. Haskell had even exhausted all credit lines given by the banks. Now, Haskell had to make a way out. As the company was importing a lot on LCs provided by several banks, Haskell obtained these unfunded facility from the banks and made money out of it. Haskell was basically getting so many LCs and loans from bank as at first it was showing its collateral assets overvalued and even its expenses as assets. According to FIA report, Haskell had received Rs 54 billion in non-product letter of credit from a number of banks through over invoicing. There was this part in FIA report that National Bank of Pakistan had created LCs for Haskell on behalf of BICO for huge amount. So the scam being played as explained by the sources was that Haskell may have included BICO in this through an agreement of deferred payments where BICO provides oil to Haskell but payment can be made later, and Haskell issues LCs from its bank NBB of deferred payment. Then, Baiko, without giving oil or giving in small quantity, says NBP that oil is delivered. And when NBP confirms this from Haskell, they also agree. After that, Baiko says its bank to give money on behalf of of deferred payment LC of NBP and offers some discount as well. After receiving the money from its bank, Baiko gives that money to Haskell for two months. After two months, if asked by Baiko, it would say that the order from Haskell got cancelled and when NBP asked for money from Haskell, Haskell has till then issued many LCs in the same way and repays the first LC payment through latest LC money received. 
So, according to FIA research, Haskell kept manipulating this LC chain, expecting that oil prices and demand will rise. But it incurred so much loss that it failed to clear LC payments, and finally, it declared default on whole LC amount. Well, according to the sources, Baiko said we were honest when providing the documents, whereas the banks said it was not their job to check physically if the goods were received or not, as they work on the documents. For now, Haskell was accused of such huge fraud. The shareholders incurred losses, and the founder of Haskell got arrested. Moreover, Haskell lost its credibility. So, there should be strong and strict check and balances to avoid such frauds in the future.